Hey, what is up everybody? Yeah, it's Timo here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the pro attack, pro tip. Every single player who played this game long enough will already know what I'm going to explain. Pretty much in today's video, I'm going to showcase you how um, you can find players basically just based on um, a bug in game. Pretty much um, you don't need to see corpses. You don't need to see... Uh, you literally don't need any information if you're running in a direct straight line you're gonna come across something that will make you instantly know that the players could be around 180 degrees in front of you for the most part if you just go um from tile to tile it's just like a player gonna be either in front of you maybe slightly to the left or to the right it's fucking that's it it means the game has rendered the player basically once we get in the game i'm gonna show you the example it's very fucking simple and basically all of those fucking accusations that are received basically they're based on this fucking dog shit right here that i'm gonna show you in the upcoming video but before we get to the video i want to remind you only 35.7 percent of people who are watching my channel has subscribed the rest didn't this channel is based on broken widows a lot of op builds also i post guides but i don't like making guides but um i do post from time to time so that people will get better in this game in a quicker manner you know will not have a struggle as much so yeah i hope that kind of sums it all up we're gonna hop in the game let's quickly go over the build that we're playing with and pretty much uh, that's the build i may be getting getting away from the main point but the moment the game gonna start i will instantly try to showcase you uh how you can find players based on one thing and yeah that, that just just simple as that i noticed one thing in particular i don't have francesca access and for all of you who are saying that x facilization does not work for bird dish um you should go and check out the recent patch notes iron mace has come out with the new change and basically x facilization got nerfed but the x facilization also impact in bird dish because bird dish is not just full arm it's also an x and the iron mace will fix it in the near future um so i'm gonna quickly buy blue quality francesca axis because well i just fucking like francesca axis i don't play without francesca axis that's my play style that's the thing that i've been playing on for years and also there are some people who are who have said that uh my previous video i was not doing as well as i usually fucking do do i need to explain that the reason why i didn't do that well was because i was playing with a weapon that required fucking skill and a lot of practice I used to play a lot with Fallen Axe, but I don't anymore, and Bardish is just far superior option. Fucking, we're gonna hop into Bardish, I'm gonna showcase you how OP this weapon is, and I'm gonna sh showcase you that, um, you know, that I'm still good. <laughs> but I'm just, I never said I'm good with Fallen Axe. Uh, it's like, you literally have to commit 10 hours to Fallen Axe, at least, if you want to be competitive as a solo player. Um, but like I haven't done that. I only played for like seven, maybe ten games, and I was done because some games were fucking empty, and I was not interested in continuing playing with the weapon that is gonna get countered by fucking most of the BS. So yeah, we take few Franny, I mean some bandages. We have meds, we have pots, torch, fuck torch. Um We'll buy some Francesca access, good enough, um, just to catch up, that's all. This is for damage, this is for a little catch up. My build, forever curious, fuck, I just threw whatever I had in my inventory. I don't even care about the gear, you just ha gotta have good quality purples, brave hunters, fucking, you're just, good quality items gonna be good enough. The stats, important, but not too important. So yeah, let's go into game, oh no, fucking goblin caves. Nope. Okay, we'll have to wait a little bit. Sorry for that. Um, Before we get into the video, one thing I want to say. Basically, the way you can find players is based on the frame skip. When you get the frame skip, it means basically your game's gonna bug out when you come up into across a player and um, you get like a little lag. This lag is pretty much indication that you come across a player because I would assume the player has a form of engine to save memory or something and players will only get get rendered when they're within the certain distance if they're not well he's the fuck just uh nothing gonna happen but when they get close 
Yep, that's that's the answer. That's that's what's actually happening in the game. Player get close, you get a glitch, you kind of lag out, the frames skipped hard. It's very, very, it's like, it's hard to see it while rendering. But uh, once you are in the game and then you get that distinguishable log, you are nearly 100% could be certain that you are, you know, coming across a player. And sometimes when you're fighting other players, um, you get that skip frame when you're fighting warlocks and druids warlocks has two spells that could lack uh could, that could make your game lag it's um flame walk as well as the other fucking big spell that could break doors i forgot the exact name the other one is a hellfire these two spells could make your game glitch and lag and skip frames um and the other one is the druid i played in druid for a little bit early on for a video that's all basically the moment the druid um turn into um, any of the forms especially if they try to sh shift multiple times in a short period of time this also could cause you game lag but uh we're not going to talk about this we're going to talk about the render distance and the render distance which will cause i mean uh which will cause uh, you lag in game so yeah i mean if you don't know about it yet well that will be a good piece of information if you've known about it well, you likely have played this game long enough. We're gonna be playing on a barb with barred dish, by the way, even though it's gonna be representative of the issue um, that the game has had for a long, long period of time. Still, it's gonna be a barbarian build where we're gonna go and clap chicks with a barred dish. I haven't played with barred dish for one day, and holy fuck, I really missed this weapon. I played with felon axe, I fucking hated it, I don't like it. A felon axe could be good, but only in specific scenarios where you don't have uh where you need this additional 15 move speed let's say you press rage you already have a lot of move speed you already did a lot of damage to a player and you all you need to do is just to dish out that the tiny little bit of extra damage that's it that will do for you that will fucking do for you anyway uh i'm just gonna wait out we're gonna hop in the game we're gonna go clap some chicks all right so basically we just spawned just wait for the rubber band the moment the game rubber bends, it means we are in the distance of a player. And um, basically, yeah. Oh, you saw that. You fucking saw that. We are in the distance of a player already. That's fucking it. Literally, I got teleported slightly back. It's not just fucking out of nothing. It means we are in the distance of a player. It's fucking it. It's very easy to see. Not sure if it's that easy to see in the Premiere Pro, but... um. Literally, we already have a player here, I'm fucking telling you. It's like, it's just because the game lags when you come across a player. I didn't really know about it, but the more I thought of it, the more I realized uh, that that's just how the game works. I've known about this for three months or so. I thought just my game slacks, but uh, it's not just my game. It's basically the way the game works. So yeah, just watch. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, that's some fucking mage. Never mind. No, no, no. We definitely gonna come. Oh, here we go. Yo, you fucking see this list? Literally doesn't even fucking need to be uh, like dead mob map knowledge. Nothing. Your game lags. You came across player. That's fucking simple as that. So, yeah, we're just gonna go try and kill him. So I hope I don't fuck up here. I already died to a rogue today while trying to make this video and uh, but that guy was just fucking stat checked me. Complete mistrusty. I'm gonna show that in the end basically. I start to fucking play, I was doing my speech, oh hey fucking I already know where the player is, this and that. And then boom, the fucking homie comes out of corner, fucking three shots me with the rondel. Oh yeah, but his gear set was... Oh, oh, this guy's gear is pretty good. That guy's gear set was so fucking good, and I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. Basically, I think it may not be a bad idea to show the fuck-ups in the process of uh, making a video. So, yeah. Pretty good gear, by the way. Pretty good gear set. Definitely not bad. So, yeah, just keep an eye out for the rubber band. The moment the game rubber bands, this is fucking it. I'll just fucking keep an eye out for frame by frame, you know. Okay. I don't want to go in the spider room because usually it's just not a good place overall. Alright, so here we have a straight line. We're going into the mid room. There's always going to be players no matter what. Just keep an eye out for lag. Oh, you saw that. You fucking saw that. Another lag. Literally another lag. You know what this means? It means we have players. 
very simple and straightforward. Just, uh, oh, here we go. Simple math, by the way. The moment your game lags, you instantly has to be very cautious. And also, by the way, I heard the guy before that. So yeah, it's right fucking there. So, yep, we're right now chasing this guy, and uh, I would assume that's the wizard. Nope, never fucking mind, this fighter. Mm, not fight him, but uh, if he knows how to block, it's gonna be a rough fight. Uh, Alright, let's try it. Wait, the homie... N oh, okay, no, the homie is good. No, 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 we're gonna retreat um, good enough. I already got my ass kicked a little. If he's gonna jump here, it's actually gonna be good for us, because he's slow as fuck. He's not doing it. No, he isn't. Someone used the shrine here? What the fuck? A guy to our left, a guy to our right. We have pretty much people from both directions. That's a withered. Now, this is a fucking withered that I saw earlier. I would assume he was the one who used the heal shrine. Oh, brother, you are so fucking cooked. Itadakimasu! That was a nice little headshot, by the way. Two headshots. We might as well try and kill every single player with a headshot. Let's keep that in mind and let's try to have it as a goal. You know, why not? I struggled my whole fucking game playing with the Fallen Axe, now I'm playing with actual weapon. But the thing is, for duos, Felon Axe, or for trios, Felon Axe might actually be better. But for solos, I genuinely think the Bard Dish overall is the better weapon. So yeah. Let's see what the homeboy has. True magic, true magic, not bad. Yeah, we're gonna take that. Damn, we really literally have full fucking inventory of cheese. But it's still a lot of players to kill. That fighter, for example, is the one I'm gonna try and hunt down. So yeah, don't get me thrown. We have a lot of cheese to obtain in this game. I, I just logged again, bro. I'm telling you, I literally just fucking logged again. Hmm. My FPS dropped. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we fucking go. Wow. Oh, that's, that's a new guy, by the way. I thought it was a fighter. This guy also have heavy boots. You can hear how fucking bussy those are. Those boots are. Nice little shot. The homie used... Whatever the fuck he used. I forgot. Blood exchange. Yeah. That's like the skinny pit's favorite thing. But like the thing is, if you want to play with blood exchange, you have to be good. And you have to be good at being very aggressive. The fuck? Give me that shit back. There we go. Dodge, headshot, another headshot. I'm not sure if the first one was a headshot, but the second definitely was. You can see that in Kill the Kid. And um, some people are saying, why do I look on the um, down? Basically, when you look down, you have a very clear view of what's going to be happening in front of you. I don't look where my crosshair is. I look down so that the weapon on my side... It doesn't block my view. That's why I always look way down. It's very, it's very effective for Barbarian, but it's not very effective for Rogue. Because for the Rogue, you have to aim ideally, you know, at the horizon. So that you would be able to land those headshots easily. But for the Barb, it's just not how it works. And uh, people who are trying to speculate about some bullshit, fucking get better at this game. That's all I can say here. Alright, we just wait for another lug, and I'm just... Oh, you saw that, you fucking saw that, right? Bro, it was very fucking distinguishable. Very... Oh, here we go, we have a guy, literally, look at that shit. Time to fucking clap his cheeks. Another lug. I just had another lug. Yeah, so we have more than one player here. It's... Yo, this is... Bro, like, I'm telling you. Oh, here we go. Oh, fuck, I'm actually gonna get a cook here. Oh, baby, a fucking headshot. Oh, shit, he has Achilles on. Oh, I fucking hit him. Well, fucking yeah. Oh, yeah, he is not, he's not liking it. I gotta go break the door. And, um... 
Yeah, so we'll have actually space to get out. We could try to use this corner right here, wait for him to come close, and absolutely fucking destroy him. Let's try it, let's try it, let's hit. Achilles. Haha. <laughs> Another headshot, baby. That's what I'm fucking talking about. So far, so good. Not bad. Definitely not bad. We just gotta take all the cake and, uh, you know. Another clay where the Wilson is gonna be fucking extremely happy. He's like, oh, fuck, man. I can't do this. It means nobody else could. It's like the fuck. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry for the slander in my bed. I want to make a screenshot of um of the kill fit. I'm gonna post it in my Discord channel. By the way, a little shout out. Um, we have a Discord channel, so yeah, come hang out. We're growing pretty good. So far, we have like almost 1300 people, so we're doing good. Hopefully, one day we'll get the Discord to 10,000. I think it'll be a fucking final goal and it'll be really cool, you know what I mean? To get that many people in one place. Those boots are decent, so I'm. Fucking gotta figure out what I actually want to throw. Maybe bandages, pots. Alright, let's use the Achilles strike just in case. Oh, another luck. You fucking saw that. You has to fucking see it. It means what? It means I'm not alone here. It means um, someone in this area within a fucking one, maybe two tiles. So we're just gonna quickly scoop it up and extract. It could be other reasons, maybe just the game lagging, but um, you gotta always assume that there is a player. And basically, uh, when I lag, it means something I right. Because you just farm mobs, there's never gonna be any issues. And by the way, any player who played this game long enough will be able to confirm my words. Anyone who, any streamer, any player, anyone who played this game long enough, like, uh, they know about this. And, um, yeah, no, it's like pretty much just how it works. It's not a fucking secret with some science or some bullshit. Literally everybody knows about this. So, yeah. But if you didn't know, well, here we go. Now you have a no good piece of information and you are welcome and feel free to go and verify. So, yeah, go and check it out. Okay, let's run north. All the way. We could go either side as well, or we could go directly north. The moment we get a log, that means there is players. Oh, by the way, that's it. That's fucking it. You saw that? The frames fucking dropped for a good second. That's it. We're gonna come across a player. Bro, like, it could be just as stupid as fucking this. The moment you fucking feel a lag, that's fucking it. That's just gonna explain everything. Oh, you bitch. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna skip mobs. Oh, here we go. Literally, we have a guy ready, like, this fucking early. Bro, that's... That's just simple as that. Like, you get a lag, you're already cautious enough, and you just fucking... You know, you already know that something isn't right. Once again, their lag would appear for a number of reasons, but m m most likely, almost fucking... 99% it's fucking render distance. It would also lag because of the warlocks. Nice. is one shot. Bitch. Haha, <laughs> that was actually funny. Oh wait, he actually got hit by a mob as well. Or did he? No, he didn't. I thought he did. Alright, let's fucking throw in a couple more Francesca X at him. Let's see what's gonna do. Oh no, he's not gonna do anything. Don't even need to waste my frannies, by the way. Just hold me fucking passed out, just like that. And yeah. I felt like I maybe got a lock here. Maybe not. Maybe it's because of too many AIs. Not sure. But yeah, we gotta be already kind of careful. Because uh, if something is off, it means... Uh, there could be a player. Could be a warlock with the hellfire. Or um, with the um, flame walk. Or also could be a druid, you know, that is shape-shifting. So it's just simple as that. Nice, so uh, we'll take the homie stuff. Hell yeah, he got better bandages. I always aim to take better bandages because they're very fucking... They're lifesavers, simple as that. Um, nice, I'm gonna make a little bit of space here. Here we go. 
All right, let's go north all the way to the prison and let's see if my game gonna lag. So yeah, if it do, it means we have players. I already feel like my frame dropped, like literally a couple of times already, not just once, but a couple of times. So yeah, oh, I feel like it happened again. So yeah, let's just see. Oh, we have a wizard and he is fucking zapping somebody. So yeah, I mean, you see what I'm talking about? The frames drops, boom, we have a player. The homie is not cooking. He's kind of cooking, but he's fucking cooking the environment around me, not me. Alright, alright, this is a very good bait. Let's see. Ah, oh, never mind. Fuck it. I thought he would try to fireball. Sometimes, sometimes you can bait the withers. Oh, fuck, no. <laughs> We actually was able to get out. I thought he was stuck there. No. no, I mean, he's dead, so it doesn't really matter. But, like, I thought, I genuinely thought that the homie is fucking stuck and I could fucking troll him. But I guess I would have to kill him just the normal way, you know? Oh, shit, we have a guy here. What the fuck? Hit his arm. Use the blood exchange. Huh? Whatever. Can't allow it to get hit. Oh. I'm faster than him, so I will be able to get away. I'm gonna make a little circle. And uh, we're gonna start chugging pots. Okay. Alright. The homie is letting me get away. Homie decide to let me heal. Sure. He's like, yep, just go fucking ahead and heal. Okay. We're gonna fight him in a second, right after I heal up to full HP. The thing is, he's not gonna have his blood exchange, so it would be kinda unfair. And, um... Like, what are you supposed to do without blood exchange if all you do is, uh, you know, use blood exchange? He's gonna put a campfire down. <laughs> I might as well let him fucking use it. You know. Yeah. Uh, no. You could use it. It's fine. Don't stress it. And just get your spells back. You know what I mean. Nice. I'll have a little sip of this. Ah, that was a good one. Holy fuck, homie is slow. Could you hurry the fuck up? Alright, let's use your fucking... What are you doing? Oh my god, bro. I gave you... Bro, the homie is not cooking. GG, my homie. Why would he fucking use the blood exchange this early? Well, I mean, this mystery is gonna be unresolved. You know what I mean? The homie just decided to use it. That's... Weird. That's fine though. Listen, he was like, oh, I'm just gonna fucking use it. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? Alright, let's go to the midroom. Let's fight everybody we come across. Alright, let's just wait for the game to lag. That's it. We'll know we have players. I mean, it's like, you don't want to go through this part of the map because the play, the game will just lag there, just as is. So, like, you want to go, like, fucking here. Break the door. It's a straight line. We have mobs here, right here. We go straight here. Then it's like, are you guaranteed we're gonna come across player no matter what you fucking do? Even if you're like brainless person, like you're gonna come across players. Like even if you're like Wilson, it doesn't matter. Like you go, oh, you heard, you you saw that, you saw that, you saw it, right? You saw the spike. You saw the spike. I felt it. I fucking felt the spike. That's it. Oh, I felt another one. Two spikes. Two spikes. And you know what it mean? It means either. Um, either there is player in the render distance, that's one, or it's druid and warlock casting fucking bullshit. Um, oh, here we go. What the fuck is the homie running? Police? Interesting. Alright, well. Wow. <laughs> 
Bro, he looks like a turtle, I'm telling you. That Pavis literally makes him look like a fucking turtle, and it's hilarious. He is a big fucking threat. He could kill me easily, actually. Mm, fuck. Fight me. Come back and fight me, bro. You fucking god! He parried a mob and killed me? Nah. You're crazy, dude. You, this guy is insane. This guy is fucking insane. I, I told him, fight me. Who fucking knew he is a fucking parry god? This guy is insane. What, what he fucking does here is ridiculous. He fucking... He's gonna die, though. He's gonna die. He's already fucking cooked. What, what he, let's be real, what he fucking did there is crazy. He parried him up and fucking stumped me. Ah, listen, it's gonna be like that sometimes. It's gonna be like that. And you know, I could have simply, uh, you know, for video purposes, I could have cut first kill, second kill, third kill, and I could have cut this out, you know, so that it would be entertaining, so it, it would look like I don't die, you know. But I do die, and uh, sometimes you're gonna come across players like this. This guy is godly. Gotta give him credit, gotta give him fucking credit, you know what I mean? So yeah, no, it's like, I'm cool with it, like... And uh, I respect his playstyle. I fucking really respect his playstyle. In fact, it's like, I think I wanna watch this. I think it's gonna be entertaining to watch. Because uh, this is the first time in the whole wipe when a person parried a mob and killed me like this. I I've seen a lot of shit, but this is new to me. This is very new. He owned me on the... Fu the this fucking... I'm speechless. That ass is crazy. But yeah, also, it's very easy to parry with the longsword, um, Bardish. The attacks are very simple, but like, even- Oh, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Holy fuck, dude! Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? How? How this guy is so fucking good, I don't understand. Look, he fucking wears nothing. Broke man build, but this guy is so fucking good. The guy is just legit out- Outskilled, outclassed, outplayed that guy. Uh, this guy is insane. This guy is insane. So, yeah, basically, when I make my content, you know, I could have just simply cut out the boring parts and make it look like uh, I win. And the thing is, always win. Um, and it's, it's fine. Like, what I do is absolutely fine. Like, you know, it's basically how you make content, you know. You gotta put on specific narrative. I'm not trying to fucking uh, showcase, like, you know, how good I am or how good it is. You make a sp certain narrative and then you just fucking follow it, you know? That's it. Just simple as that. Alright, so pretty much, yeah. I do die and uh, for people who are very concerned about stats and about how I never die. So pretty much you can see here, in normals I died 32 times on my barb, right? What about the high roller? Here we go, I played 864 games, I died 300 times, I killed seven. I mean 1400 people, and um, basically these are my stats. Are, they're not great, they're not great by no means. And here are my stats for my rogue. My rogue stats, on the other hand, are absolutely horrible. Like, absolutely horrible. 111 games played, 67 extracted. Um, 168 kills, 40 deaths, so I made 168 kills and I died 40 times. Um, and the high roller, oh boy, I don't even want to look at it. 756 games played, 998 kills. These stats are fucking not good, but also I need to explain why my stats are like that. The reason is actually very simple, it's mainly because I don't play to win I play to make content, I put myself in a stupid position, in a risky situation and uh, I try to win and that's why I die a lot. If I'd be playing to win, I could play to fucking have 20 KD or even more. Cause uh, I would just be picking the right targets, but I don't do it. I fight literally every single person even when I am, my chances of survival or winning the fight would be minimal. And uh, yeah, so anyway. So everybody knows this tech, you gotta know it too, eventually our mace will patch it, anyway it's demo and I'll see you, peace out.